Okay, for the purpose of today's demonstration, we're going to need a, a few different tools, um, one of which will be a, uh, an X-Acto knife or some kind of utility knife, a pair of uh, t um, a wire cutters, uh, a few zips, uh, zip ties, and obviously the most important ingredient is our AC50UL duct tape. This is the gray version. Um, we have a silver version, which we'll be using in the demonstration, and we also have the black version of our AC50UL product, which will also be used in this demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the most complex of the uh, installations, which would be a free-floating end-to-end um, -end connection for flexible ductwork. And to do that, we obviously need some flexible ductwork. I'm going to cut the ductwork in a spot, and this is pretty straightforward. Kind of go through here with your, with your knife and just cut into it. Kind of like a, a piece of bread, if you will. You want to get through all of the, all of the insulation. And it's going to be a little bit, uh, a bit of a pain to get through. What you want to do is expose that core on the inside. This would normally happen in the field when you have two pieces of insulation coming together for a long run of uh, air conditioning or heating done along a um, um, uh, HVAC unit. You expose the core. This is, this is, the, this is the internal contents of this um, insulation. And you proceed to cut through this core also. And you'll notice that once I've cut through this, that there's a, uh, a piece of cable on the inside that keeps this uh, flexible ductwork in play. You want to, you don't want to snip that too. There you go. Now, make the assumption that this is one unit that's on uh, uh, on the plenum, let's say, and this is another unit that's going to carry it further down inside an attic. To do that, you're going to want to connect the internal cores to this uh, six-inch um, diameter uh, connection unit. And the way that works is, and I'm going to cover the screen a little bit. Actually, you know, I'll start on this side first. Expose a little bit more of this material. Remember, this is not attached to anything at this point. All right? You insert this unit inside this core. You want to kind of get around the whole, the whole unit. And you'll see I can slide as much of this as I want. Ideally, you want to go past this little lip right here, you'll notice a little bump right there. Um, you give yourself a little bit of extra room. You take a zip tie and you apply the zip tie roughly in the same location behind that little bump on the connection. And measure it up, make sure that it's in place. Now there is a device that, that can be used to do this uh, mechanically. It's basically uh, designed to give you a really nice tight connection there. Uh, you get it as tight as you can, at least by hand, and you can snip the remainder of the uh, material uh, off the uh, zip tie. And you take this unit, and then ideally you want to use your UL uh, AC50 duct tape, and you start on the on the um, extension side so that you've got a, a surface to attach to. And you notice that I push some of this stuff out of the way to make sure I do get a good connection to the surface. This ensures that you have a, uh, you're preserving all the air uh, through, the, through the entire tube. And you kind of go around to make sure it's nice and well connected. And kind of make sure you cover all of the parts of the puzzle there. Bring that in. Cover the zip tie too. That way it doesn't come off when you're jostling this thing through an attic. Okay. On it. You should probably wear gloves to do this because you don't want to cut your hands on the uh, sharp metal here. Anyway, you cut the uh, duct tape. Make sure you got a good, nice, tight seal all the way around. I'm going to do the same on this side. much of this material on here as possible. Slide it on. Slide it on. Give yourself a little bit of room to work here. I said about 
three, three turns there. Like a zip tie, you'll feel the little bump in there. Can you see that? Um, take your zip tie, put that on like that. Make sure you're behind the little bump. And you give yourself something to hold on to. And you take your die and cut that off. Again, you want to expose some of the metal, or in this case, you can just link it to the to the duct tape that's already attached to the surface. Again, take your your black tape, place that over the top of that, go around, go around. I like to do three. Turns gives me a little bit more confidence in the connection. And then you hand tear that duct tape club. Right. Now the internal tubing is reconnected. You can see it's a it's a pretty sturdy connection. Nothing's gonna come out, and it keeps the connection nice and solid and rigid. Now obviously you want to make sure that you don't lose any heat away from this. So what you want to do bring back that insulation over the, uh, over the unit, over the connection. And then you want to open this up a little bit. And a good way to make sure that you get a good overlap is to take this connection. I use my silver duct tape to do this. Take roughly the same area and give yourself a, uh, a thinned out version of a, uh, take a couple of pieces of this duct up here, attach it here on the edge, give it a little bit of a neck down so that you can make sure the insulation covers both sides. Take a couple of strips of this stuff. Now that neck down allows for you to take the other side of the insulation and bring it over the top of the last piece of insulation, tucking in the edges to give you a nice, nice clean seam right there. And now you're ensuring that the insulation is not going to, it's going to do what the insulation needs to do. And there's enough of it there to give you a nice solid surface onto which to take your duct tape one more time. And again, go through, give yourself solid connection point on the unit. Like that. And there you have it. That's your, that's your inline connection for insulated flexible ductwork um, utilizing our AC50UL in silver and in black in this case, and a couple of zip ties. Hope you find this instructive enough to be able to show your customers, and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this.